And here's Rush, which you can see in person. I just think I'm so interested in our back body. It's like all of you here, it's like we're riding, you're here in like a, like you're riding the crest of a wave, and all of your lives are like surging past you. And I put a lot of mythological figures because it's like we're piggybacking on the lives of so many, many, many hundreds and thousands of lives. And then here are just a few. I did a series of, of word queens, you know, just made out of language, copper letters. Here's the one upstairs. Again, she's closed, <coughs> she's one way, and then when she's open, she's like this. It's like you air yourself out. This is also upstairs. These last three slides, here's Jorge. Here's, here he is in, at, the, you know, at, the, at, the, at the opera, actually. And here is Andrew, and he, I made an ecstasy suit for him to wear. And then here's the, some of my most recent work. It's an illuminated print. Um, the thrill came slowly. And here's Larry. I love this image. Faith like a guillotine as heavy as light. Here it is in a printmaking form. Here it is, actually, it's the piece that's upstairs. And here it is also in printmaking form. And this is my last image. Um, I find I've gravitated a lot to using the word soul in my work. And I used to think, you know, I've meditated for decades. I used to think if only I just did it five times more, I would find that still golden temple of quietness in my body to just be suspended. And I've changed. I, I don't think that that's the destination. I think that the way the body is hungry and needs food, I think the soul also is hungry and needs food. So I think the soul is actually ravenous and is always on the move and looking for things to feed it. And it's this hunger and this nourishment that makes our decisions in our life. Thank you very much.